There you see the home team arriving in limousines. The Salt Lake Trappers making their debut before the home crowd here at Dirk's Field. Most of the fans who are regulars in the stands are acquainted with uh, one foul ball Bob, and I think you ought to meet him as well when he's not here at the baseball game, which is only when there isn't a baseball game because he's always here. He goes by the name Bob Langton. Thank you for joining us this evening. They tell me you are an institution here. Yes, I've been here. I've been coming here ever since uh, the Salt Lake Bees were here. And uh, where do we get this name of foul ball Bob? Well, I mean, well, one night I was watching the balls and they were going out of the park and in the stands and uh, those balls were hit home runs and in the bullpen. I said, my gosh, I think I can make a pool out of something like that. So I. Uh, thought of uh, counting each one of those balls and and everybody could draw a number out of a hat or uh, a box or whatever and uh, I start with number 10 on the uh, on the uh, book here so you're telling to chances for people to guess how many foul balls are hit out of the park or in the bleachers yes and home runs count too and in the bullpen and you you sell the chance yep I count each one as they go out okay how much does it cost a dollar a chance and do you and, uh, keep any back for yourself? No, I just take a free chance. You take a free chance for the administrative expense? Yes, and I take care, take care of the... You, with a clicker, with you find clicker out how many are going over the fence. Count them each one as they go out. You're what they call a bookie, aren't you? Well, hey. <laughs> Not really. I mean, we're just having a little fun. I mean, the state of Utah takes a pretty dim view of this activity. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that make it a little interesting? Never um, have any problem from the vice squad? No, uh-uh. I saw you out there selling your chances before we went on the air, and there were a couple of policemen standing around. Did they, wow. ever, they ever sign on? Uh-huh. Oh, they do? Them. Yes, uh-huh. All right. <laughs> well, you're covered. <laughs> you're covered. Uh, what do you like at the ball game besides the, the pool that you have going? What is it that's exciting for you? Oh, I like the ball players. They're terrific. I mean, there's a bunch of terrific big fellas. We won, we won it all last year, and I knew we was going to win it. And uh, they were just uh, real great. Who's going to win your pool tonight? How many balls over the fence? Well, what would you I say? Well, I would say it'll probably be in the 20s tonight. Somebody that's got a 20. And what will they win? $20, $30? $20. dollars $20. $20 pot. Uh -huh. Okay. What do you do when you're not at the ball game? What's your... I'm, uh, I work for the Sweet Candy Company. You bring candy to chew maker. on up here on the stands? Yes, uh-huh. Cinnamon bears and... Uh, where do you sit, Bob? I'll be joining you up there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for being our guest. Yes, you're welcome. We've got to take a break here, and then we'll be back with more primetime access and uh, peanuts and Cracker Jacks after these messages. <laughs>